you are listening and watching to a very special podcast. This is more of the lost stuff to Phenomenon Serendipity 2, and we have more on Randy Kirk. Enjoy! Just sitting in a diner cafe, just with these three strangers that Randy has no idea who they were. Of course she met Hiori, and after Hiori went back into her body, uh, it was a pretty difficult thing to process. Hiori explained the whole predicament. Randy emphasized with her. However, she explained that she was a nymph. But Hiori was confused. What's a nymph? she asked. You don't know what a nymph is? No. Could you maybe explain? Oh, I guess you never heard of them. They're, um, like fairies, but they're just, like, pretty little beings. They're not, like, those little tiny pixie-like fairies. They're just, like, human-looking, but also at the same time, they got some magic-like fairies. Really? Is that why you created that barrier? Was that, like, a magic spell? Hiori asked. Um, well... Hmm. Nada. I mean, not really. It's... A hard thing to process, really. Ah, uh, this is so hard for me to just explain, Randy said. So a nymph is like a, a fairy? And you have magic? Yukine asked. Of course I have magic. Not easy to just describe it, but I'm trying. I really am. Well, I believe you. I really do, he already said. However, that comment made Randy look at her intensely. That sounded so familiar, she thought. Then she had a flashback. She remembered that she was training so much. All of a sudden, Mikasa was watching her. Randy stopped and looked up at her. Have you been watching me the whole time? She asked. And I just wanted to see what you were doing. You look like you haven't even bro broken a sweat. First training in the morning with, with the silver... Then you go and help out people, then you do more of your training, and now you're, you're coming here to watch? Don't you ever get tired? Like, at all? Randy asked. Are you trying to say that I'm not even human? Mikasa said, no, I'm just wondering if, if you ever, I don't know. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen you grinned or smiled before. I do smile. Maybe the problem with you is, maybe you think I'm taking myself too seriously. That's for you to decide. For me to decide? Girl, you are just full of surprises. I'm telling you. If I didn't know any better, I wouldn't even compare to you. Randy said, what do you mean? Mikasa asked. Well, you're just cool, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, you're awesome, everyone thinks you're great and all. I have weaknesses too. Yeah, so do I. But you're beautiful as well, Mikasa said. What? You said I was pretty, but I think you're beautiful. You're more gorgeous than I am. What? Don't you dare say that about me. The only reason why is because look at your dark hair and all, the way your lips are, the way your eyes sparkle much more than the stars in the sky. I mean, when you're around Aaron. Oh, what am I talking about? It's really hard to, for me to explain. Mikasa then put a hand on her shoulder and smiled. 
I believe you. You do? Yes. I believe you're doing good. I know you're trying. I really do. She said. Thanks. I... <sighs> oh, no words can describe that, Randy said and hugged her. But when she pulled away, she, she was so surprised to notice that Mikasa was smiling a little bit. And you said I couldn't smile, she said. Randy couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> yeah, uh, you have such a nice smile. You should smile more. Maybe, Mikasa said. The flashback ended. Randy suddenly was staring off into space. She had a little bit of a, a grin on her face. He already managed to wave a hand in her face, saying, Hello, Randy. Anyone home? Huh? Oh, oh, no, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I was just staring off into space. Oh. I mean, I was just, I don't know. Your comment reminded me of what someone used to say to me. Really? Aw, that's actually kind of nice. He already said. Hey, maybe later, maybe I can let you come over to my house and we can have a nice little, I don't know, maybe a sleepover. What? You're going over for a sleepover? Yukune said. Why not? I don't think my mom would mind. I don't know. We just met. Don't worry. I'll call her and then maybe let her know. Wait, 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 Yato cried out. Uh, can I have a sleepover with you guys, too? Are you crazy? <laughs> that is so perverse. We're having a girls only. Please. Why would we invite a boy like you? Randy said teasingly. Well, that made Yato stunt. And he almost fainted. He clutched his chest. Aspiration filled in Randy's face. Also, you know, we might be doing things that girls would do, okay? So why don't you and Yukine have your boy time, and me and Hiori can have a girl time? Yeah, that would be great, Hiori said. The two girls went off. Barrera called out, Hey Randy, give me a call before you go to bed, okay? I want to talk to you. Um, alright. I'll give you the details about what goes on, Randy said awkwardly. Ah! Yeah. Once Randy and Hiori walked off, Hiori was talking to her mom on the phone about how Randy saved her life from getting hit by a car again. However, he already did left out the part about the barrier and all. She knew if she told her mom that, her mom wouldn't believe her. Then Hiori couldn't help but laugh and say this. And don't get me wrong, Mom. This girl that saved my life, she's absolutely stunning. Randy was shocked to hear that. Yeah, no, no kidding. <laughs> she almost looks so elfin. Like an, a pretty looking elf. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. No, no, she's not like some sort of goddess. <laughs> uh, oh. Really? Oh, I think she'll like that. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. See you then. He already then hung up the phone and turned to Randy. Guess what? My mom's thinking about taking us out for something to eat tonight, for dinner. Really? Are you sure? Definitely. I mean, they've been cooking dinner long enough, so they decided to maybe, you know, have dinner with us. Your parents? Oh no, I, I don't think I could. I can't. I don't know if I want to meet your rents. I mean, I think that sounds nice and all, but, oh, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to think of me. 
Ramsey said. Have you had any friends before? Yeah, Barrera and Chloe are, but, oh, I don't know. It's just, it's because you're too pretty, he already said jokingly. Yeah. Really? Is that why? Girls are really jealous of me. I'm just too beautiful, but I don't think Barrera and Chloe don't, they don't really care about that. Not when you have a gun pointed at you, Randy said, but then she covered her mouth. She couldn't believe she said that. Hiori looked at her with concern. What did you say? Nothing. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. Oh, no. It's okay. Come on. Let's go to my house, and maybe I can get you something to wear that's cute. Hiori said. Oh, I don't want to be in any trouble. Randy said. No, you won't be in any trouble with me. I don't mind. Really. I'll give it right back. I know you would. You do? Yeah. I don't know why, but I can suddenly trust you. Thanks. I really do appreciate it. Randy said. The two girls beamed, and off they went. Surprisingly, going out to dinner with the rents, it was actually pretty nice. Although Hiori's parents couldn't help but feel...